In the realm of classic television comedy, one series stands out for its irreverent take on crime dramas, Police Squad. Created in 1982, this short-lived gem left an indelible mark on the genre despite its premature cancellation. The series follows the bumbling detective Frank Drebin as he tackles crime in a way only he can with a mix of slapstick humor, deadpan delivery, and absurdity that defies the conventions of the cop show. As you reminisce about Police Squad, does a particular scene or moment come to mind that has left a lasting impact on you? Or perhaps you have a personal story of how this unconventional series has inspired or influenced your life. We're eager to hear your cherished memories and experiences, so feel free to share them in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some random facts about Police Squad that add to its quirky charm. The show's rapid-fire gags and visual puns were a signature element, often requiring viewers to stay alert to catch every nuance. The deadpan narration by William Conrad, juxtaposed with Leslie Nielsen's comedic timing, created a unique dynamic that set Police Squad apart from its counterparts. Remember that iconic freeze-frame endings? These served as a comedic punchline to each episode, leaving viewers with a snapshot of the hilarity that unfolded. Despite its cancellation after only six episodes, Police Squad laid the groundwork for the successful Naked Gun film franchise, solidifying its place in comedic history. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Police Squad? We'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of Police Squad, a series that, though short-lived, continues to tickle the funny bones of those fortunate enough to have experienced its comedic brilliance. Share your anecdotes and let the laughter live on. In the realm of television, Police Squad made its mark with a unique approach to comedy. The 1982 series, known for its deadpan humor, faced some interesting behind-the-scenes decisions. One notable instance was Avic's push for a laugh track, a request staunchly denied by creators David Zucker, Jim Abrahams, and Jerry Zucker. This refusal contributed to the show's distinctive style as the creators insisted on letting the humor stand on its own without the artificial cue of laughter. A poignant moment in the series involves John Belushi, who filmed the cameo for Episode 6, Testimony of Evil. The original scene depicted Belushi underwater, sporting a pair of cement shoes. Tragically, Belushi passed away before the episode aired, prompting the need for a reshoot with William Conrad. The lost footage of Belushi's guest star appearance has become a mystery, presumed to be gone forever. Years later, the success of the Naked Gun films led to a resurgence of interest in Police Squad. In 1991, Comedy Central and CBS re-aired all six episodes during the summer. The decision to revive the series showcased its enduring appeal even a decade after its short-lived initial run. In the world of Police Squad, decisions made off-camera played a crucial role in defining the show's distinctive humor and maintaining its integrity. The refusal of a laugh track and the unfortunate loss of John Belushi's footage are just two instances that add layers to the legacy of this unconventional 1982 TV series. Leslie Nielsen's iconic portrayal of Frank Drebin in the 1982 TV series Police Squad almost didn't happen. In an interview with the creators on the Nerdist podcast, it was revealed that Robert Stack was initially the top choice for the role, but he declined. This led to Leslie Nielsen becoming the second choice for the character. The casting decision proved to be a pivotal moment for the series. Nielsen's deadpan delivery and impeccable comedic timing became synonymous with Police Squad as distinctive humor. Interestingly, in 1994, Leslie Nielsen showcased his comedic chops on the British show Knowles House Party, reenacting the classic freeze frame from Police Squad as closing credits with host Noel Edmonds. While Nielsen's performance solidified the show's success, the production of Police Squad was not without its quirks. In an unusual move, starting with the second episode, Drebin would reel off a list of criminals apprehended in previous episodes. However, due to episodes airing out of order, this running joke faced a hiccup as criminals were referred to before they were actually arrested. The production order of the six shows further added to the mix, one, two, five, four, three, and six. The behind-the-scenes anecdotes and unique production choices contribute to the enduring legacy of Police Squad. Despite initial challenges, the series went on to achieve a cult status with its humor standing the test of time. In each episode of Police Squad, Lieutenant Frank Drebin's deadpan humor became iconic. However, lesser-known facts about the show contribute to its unique charm. 
The opening credits, the theme song, and Drebin's character were spoofs inspired by M Squad, where Lee Marvin played Lieutenant Frank Ballinger. This clever nod added an extra layer of humor for viewers familiar with the source material. Leslie Nielsen, the face behind Drebin, didn't just leave his mark on the show. In the 1990s, he reprised his role in Red Rock Draft Cider ads, creating hilarious parodies reminiscent of Police Squad as comedic style. This offbeat crossover showcased the enduring popularity of Drebin's character, transcending the boundaries of the original series. Another recurring quirk in Police Squad is Drebin offering a pack of cigarettes, prompting responses like, yes, I know, or yes, they are. This running gag, present in every episode, added a consistent and amusing element to Drebin's character, contributing to the show's overall comedic appeal. These lesser-known facets of Police Squad highlight the clever references and recurring gags that define the series. From spoofing M Squad to Leslie Nielsen's reprisal in unconventional commercials and the persistent cigarette gag, these details enrich the understanding of the show's humor. Police Squad may have been short-lived, but its legacy endures through these quirky elements that continue to resonate with fans. In a quirky twist, each episode of the show features dual titles. The voiceover narration never quite aligns with the on-screen title. This recurring mismatch adds a subtle layer of humor to the otherwise deadpan style of Police Squad. Whether intentional or a playful oversight, this element became a distinctive feature of the series. As if navigating the criminal underworld wasn't challenging enough, viewers were treated to this humorous inconsistency, creating a unique dynamic in each episode. Another offbeat aspect involves Lieutenant Frank Drebin's vehicular escapades. In the first four episodes, Drebin humorously runs over a set of objects equal to the episode number. A running gag that adds a touch of slapstick to the series, this quirk, however, takes a hiatus in the fifth and sixth episodes, Perhaps a testament to the show's ability to blend deadpan wit with physical comedy, this recurring joke provides moments of levity amidst the crime-solving chaos. Looking beyond the episodes aired, an intriguing revelation surfaces from Pat Proft. Had a second season materialized, the opening credits would have seen a change. The iconic scene where Abraham Lincoln gets shot only to retaliate with a pistol was slated for a clever replacement featuring Mohanda's K, Gandhi armed with a machine gun. While this playful twist didn't unfold in Police Squad as original run, the idea found a later manifestation in a fake trailer for Gandhi Roman 2 in the movie Oof. These unconventional details showcase the show's commitment to keeping its humor fresh and unexpected. Whether it's playing with episode titles, incorporating slapstick gags, or teasing alternate scenarios in the opening credits, Police Squad proves that humor can come from the most unexpected places. As we wrap up this nostalgic journey through the timeless gem that is Police Squad, I can't help but marvel at the sheer brilliance that unfolded on our screens back in 82. It wasn't just a show, it was a symphony of wit, satire, and slapstick that etched itself into the hearts of many. As you ponder the hilariously chaotic escapades of Frank Drebin, take a moment to reflect on the laughter that echoed through the years. Perhaps it was the deadpan delivery, the absurd sight gags, or the razor-sharp dialogue that left an indelible mark on your sense of humor. Whatever it may be, this series has a knack for planting seeds of laughter that bloom unexpectedly in the garden of your memories. Now, it's your turn! Share your favorite moments, the scenes that made you snort with laughter, or the lines that you've quoted a little too often. Let's celebrate the shared joy that Police Squad has brought into our lives. Your reflections are the threads that weave the fabric of this enduring classic into a tapestry of collective nostalgia. As we part ways, I extend my gratitude for your time and the shared enthusiasm for the timeless humor that transcends generations. Your thoughts make this journey even more vibrant, and I look forward to hearing your stories. Thank you for joining me in this delightful exploration down the memory lane of Police Squad, and until we meet again in the realms of laughter, take care.